All right. All right. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. Do I can talk or do you talk? Well, I'm going to intro it with okay. you can talk. Ready, set, go. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Lauren Drain. This is my husband, David Kagan. And today we're doing updates because we have some exciting news. Some of them might already know. Some of you guys probably already know because I announced it on Instagram. Um, if you follow me, it's right here. Um, but our exciting news is we are pregnant. I made that. A little, <laughs> a little nugget in there. What are you, what are you so happy Look, about? it's a little gummy bear, a little guy. Guy or girl, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Actually, gender reveal is literally in three days, this Saturday. Yes. So obviously we have a lot to fill you guys in on. I am currently 16 going on 17 weeks pregnant. So four months and there's been a lot that's happened since the last time I recorded YouTube. <laughs> a lot. So I'm gonna have to fill you guys in on this. So basically to fill you in on things, um, Dave and I actually <laughs> did not get pregnant very easily. Um, so there are a lot of struggles. There's a whole timeline of us trying, us thinking about it, trying, not being able to, you know, there was, yeah, there was, I think nine, almost nine months, maybe Lauren will say even longer than that, but I think nine months of, and we recorded a lot of this content because we wanted to just document the journey. We just didn't know, we didn't want to put it out well, there before. It this. was difficult to record. I mean, it was a very emotional process and I'll go into that in individually as we update you guys. And we're basically going to go, now that it's out there, we're pregnant, we're excited. It's a great news. It's a great thing. Now we can go ahead and post everything that we meant to post, which is the struggles, you know, we recorded in life of like me getting negative pregnancy tests. And I think we even recorded like a prank where I pranked him <laughs> that I was pregnant. I didn't go um, over very that didn't well, go over very at, well all. at all. It's just a very emotional roller coaster for any relationship. Yeah. And Plus, so if you've dealt with anything like this, you would know it's, it's stressful and it's not always so much fun. So we didn't know the appropriate way to document that, update that post, and we were all kind of, I was at least, all kinds of emo and anxious about it, so I just didn't do it. But we have the content, we wanna update you guys because it's a real life thing that a lot of people struggle with, and I think it's amazing to be able to give, give people some relatable content that you know, you're not alone if you're struggling, and that not every pregnancy announcement comes with immediate you know, oh, yeah, it's perfect. Everything's perfect. It's almost like, oh my God, we've been waiting for this for so long. So it's, it's yeah, I, th I, th I, th I think the way, and you guys will see it in the videos later, is the way the Lord had envisioned in her mind how she was going to tell me that we're finally pregnant. Not at all how no. it happened. No, I was. Yeah, I mean, you'll see, guys. You'll see later. Um, yeah. But it was basically, not everything you think a dream world is going to happen, idealistic, it doesn't always go according to plan. Yeah. So you guys are going to see step by step kind of how that goes. So we're going to actually post updates starting from the beginning and the real life emotions of what goes down. So, but in the meantime, basically to give you guys a little summary and update on life, um, we a lot has been happening over the last six months. Basically, businesses, we've been working on our challenge, oh improving our challenge, so that's something that we are very taking pride in, is that we've been able to do really, really well with our challenges, uh, getting people, lots of people into shape and fine tuning those details. I mean, Running another business, Fit the Angel Collection, yeah, which Lauren, just Lauren launched started, this year. Yeah, Lauren started that business. We've, and this is, mind you, she's talking about like, this is all in the combination in the last like 12 months or so, all the things on our plate on top of trying to get pregnant. Now that we are pregnant and we're, this is the third house that we've now moved to in the last nine months here in Las Vegas. We move out again in four weeks. We haven't bought a house yet, so we're putting everything back into storage. Yeah. She's like four months pregnant still, so we are. <laughs> so yeah, Whew. there was a lot been going on. We lived, lived in LA for three and a half years. We moved to Vegas in December. So we've been bouncing around from Airbnb to Airbnb rentals. Meanwhile, 
but having our clothing collection out of different Airbnb rentals and traveling a lot, doing business, so there's definitely been a lot going on. So needless to say, there's a lot to update you guys on, and we really wanna be more active on our YouTube channel because it's a way for us to really connect with you guys, relate to you guys, share our lives, be real and raw, and so that's what we wanna do. So here we are, gonna lay it all out there for you guys <laughs> to know. Just and stay, stay tuned, it's gonna be hopefully Raw and real content, and you might even we see Lauren wanna, throwing up in the bathroom and well, that kind of stuff. We just want to show you the real things that people don't always show. Because on Instagram, I feel like people are showing this perfect, oh, oh you're so pretty and perfect, and you have the perfect lighting, the perfect makeup, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's not real life, and especially yeah. not real life. Uh, the struggles that you deal with behind the scenes, the emotions, and then on, on top of actually being pregnant, there's the struggles I've dealt with actually being pregnant that I didn't, even, I wasn't even aware. Yeah, Lauren thing thought this whole like, oh my God, look at all these pretty little fit Instagram moms here and there, and I'm like, I'm like babe, I'm like, come on, it, they're sick. It, it is it's not, not at all. And, and mind you, I am obsessed with fitness. It's my passion to be in shape, to work out, to eat healthy. I've been doing this for the last six and seven years. And I thought, oh, it's gonna be a piece of cake for me to stay in shape, eat healthy, go to the gym. No, that not, is not at all. Is not realistic <laughs> at all. And I thought that I would have a little upper edge, being the fact that, like I said, I've been training for years. And I think you do have an upper edge. And I think she's okay. She's doing. Well, but man, let me tell you, that once the hormones hit, the nausea, the sickness, <sighs> the cravings, it's just it got if, bad. <laughs> if you expect pregnancy to go a certain way, or your journey to pregnancy to go a certain way, you, there, it's not going to. It really just isn't. It, and you yeah. can't hold yourself to a certain crazy standard, no matter what your idealistic version of it's gonna be, no matter what your fitness level is gonna be, no matter your nutritional background, your science background, your nursing background, yeah. you cannot control all these little <laughs> factors. And that's kind of what I thought I could kind of do, is, oh, I'll just, I'll be perfectly fit the whole time and I, and I won't struggle with sickness and I won't, and I'll be able to go to the gym every day. No, that is not how it's gone. By the me. way, as a husband, let's just say there's a whole new can of worms that now you're supporting and you're trying to be as loving as possible to her and, everything but they cray cray a little bit sometimes so yeah there's yeah. that so anyways <laughs> that's so, kind of the so like i said guys we're gonna be real and raw with you guys we're gonna give you updates i think we even talked about maybe doing like a q a like a baby q a like oh how are you, were you nervous or like what did you want it to be you know because our gender reveal is happening this Speaking of Michelle, what do you what do you think it's gonna be I, what do i think it's gonna be or what do i want it to be it's not okay Wait, I don't okay, have, I guess okay. it's the same thing. Here's Fine. the thing. I thought I would feel strongly one way or the other, but originally I wanted a little baby boy. Like if, as if I could control the universe, like I could control- As she's been trying to this whole <laughs> as time. As if I could control the gender or the order or anything like that. I was like, oh, baby boy first and baby girl next. But since you can't control anything at all, unless you get involved with science somehow, um, then yeah, I was like, okay, here's the deal. My the first three to four weeks of my pregnancy were miserable. I did not know how anyone could get through being sick all the time. And thank God, I have I my nausea, my morning sickness, everything went away after like eight or ten weeks. But I was like, if this continues, I only want to go through pregnancy once. Like I don't even think I can do it again. In that case, in that time period, where with I was so sick that I couldn't go to the gym, I couldn't eat right, I was so hormonal. I was basically like, this is it. I'm having a girl and that's all that I'm gonna do. It's over. But, I did not know that, actually. <laughs> that's news to me. Yes, because I was like thinking, I have to pass on my genes to a little girl, right? Okay. Like, you know, that would be just a waste, wouldn't so, it? So, you, so now you want a girl or what do you think it is? Okay, let's so, answer both. What, so what do you like think I it said, I, if I could control the universe, I wanted boy and then girl. Okay. And now that I realize I can, I, oh my you gosh, no knock on wood, Knock on wood, I can survive the rest of this pregnancy, then I can go through this again, which means I could do boy girl. But if it's boy boy, this is like the I'm longest really, answer ever. <laughs> if it's boy boy, then I'm really, really sad. Basically, I want a girl eventually, but I'm okay with boy first. So, what do you think it is then, right now? I think it's a boy. Right now, you think it's a boy? I think it's a boy. Wow, the longest winded explanation <laughs> of like well, it, A or B. <laughs> let me tell you the alphabet. <laughs> because it. Certain factors and variables can change your mind about things. Obviously, okay, so you think it's end, a boy. At the end of the day, I just want a healthy baby. I, I would be happy with either gender, really. I'm just gonna be super excited. But I was just saying, if I had to make a get, educated guess. Okay, so you think it's a boy. What do you think? Okay, 
Let me give you the 10 minute explanation. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> no, okay, so originally, like in my mind, I used to race motorcycles, all this stuff. Oh crap, the battery's gonna die. Okay, hurry up. You only have like a couple seconds. Should, should I time it? Just hurry up. Okay, fine. Oh, pressure. So originally, I thought it was gonna be, like I wanted a boy. Like I'm like a baby boy, motorcycles, you know, all the cool guy stuff, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, I keep picturing myself with like a little girl. I'm like, I don't know why, but daddy's a little girl, like, I'm like 50-50 on it, but I'm leaning like 52%, I think, towards a girl. I think I'd be happy with, I just want, you know, at the end of the day, like you just want a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. And, uh, but for some reason, like I just keep picturing myself with a little girl and loving it. And I don't know, I don't, I never thought I would say that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay I never with... thought I would say that. I don't know if you can compete with I'm me loving another okay woman, girl, more than you. The boys, because right now it's Max and Dave versus me, so. He's yours anyways. He's he your is boy. mine. He's on team mom. Max is 100% on my team, more than your team, but right. either way. Uh, so wow, you're a girl, team girl and I'm team Well, I'm, I'm not sure, and, and I honestly don't know what it is. Like, I, don't, I, will, I will be ecstatic no matter what I think when I, we find out, literally in two or three days. And I think it'll be even more real because right now, like, I'm just on the sidelines supporting her. I don't, like, I, like, I think once I know, like, what kind of baby we're having, I think it'll be more real. And yes. I can be when we more find out the, the gender, connected. When we find out, we get to see the 3D of 40 ultrasound on Sunday. So then we get to see the thing. Okay. Okay, so the battery guy. Dave but hold on. never time, charges the batteries. Time out. The last thing you said is that we have an ultrasound on Sunday. A 3D, 3D 40 ultrasound. So the, for those of you guys who don't know, um, when you go to the doctor, you're getting a 2D scan or 2D pictures of your of your baby. And if you go to specialized clinic, you can get a 3D or 4D ultrasound. So 3D is actually obviously there. You could see the face in 3D, and you can in 4D. This is you news can to see me. The video or the baby moving around in there. I mean, I knew about this, but the news is that. Literally some days we have an appointment apparently with the no, viewing party. I did tell you a long time ago that we were doing this. I asked if you want to be involved in selecting it. You guys don't guys aren't involved in anything. Ladies, if you if you're wondering why your man's not involved in anything at all, that's because that's normal. They're not involved in Oh <laughs> anything. my god. Planning, I'm about to planning appointments, I'm about planning to gender reveals. Planning the ultrasound, he's just gonna show up to everything. Her hormones like, levels oh, went from here to having, there. I'm are staying, having a baby? I'm like, staying clear oh, of her. I'm know. just staying clear of her. Men, yo, if, I don't know if you're watching this, like, yo, be ready. No. Cray cray. No, guys, anyways. just don't do anything. You're not gonna do anything anyways. Just, you know, agree to everything and show up, and that's it. Alright, do you want me to leave? You can finish this video then without me? Like, you, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much the general update. Uh, guys, what do you think it is? Uh, comment in the section below. We, hopefully we upload this video before the actual gender reveal, so let us know what we you will. think. People are already are like, oh, she's carrying low. It's, it's, it's a boy. She's carrying low. Like, it's blow. What? Most of her. My, yeah, it's blow, guys. A lot of blow. Unreal amount of blow, which <laughs> is Unreal. insane. The baby the, is only the size of an avocado, which is. Now it is, yeah. And my bloat is the size of, I don't know, like Texas. So that is not the baby's fault. I'm going to blame that on myself entirely. But anyways, um, guys, comment below any questions you think that we should address. Oh, yeah. If you thought about doing like a baby Q&A or parenting Q&A or like how you're going to raise a baby, what do you feel about it? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Comment some like intriguing, not boring questions, but some, you know. Something get, we wouldn't have get thought Get us of. talking. It's... Get us talking. Get us fighting a little bit. Get us fighting. Get us bickering. <laughs> do you think the baby's yours? Is it really Dave's? What? You know? Oh that kind of thing. No, I'm just going to have to pause this for a second. No. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's kind of the life update. We got a little gummy bear. We have a gummy bear. We, we need a gum the gummy bear. I don't know if Dave can pop it up there on the screen. I will. I'll show you the full screen. But there's an image that looks exactly like a gummy bear, and it's so cute. The so, first little challenge is just laying there. I don't know if you guys did this when you guys were pregnant, but did you name your baby before you named your baby? We have. We've named our gummy bear. <laughs> what? I asked you if they had like a nickname for baby. Oh, oh, nickname. I'm like, we like, named it. I'm like, no, no. Okay, like a yeah, nickname yeah. before you named it. Yeah, we just saw it. I was like, it's Gummy Bear. Gummy That's bears. it. Gummy yeah. Bear. So I have the bump, uh, the bump app installed. So I named it. And it's like, name your baby. I'm like, Gummy Bear. <laughs> so every every week I get an update. Like, Gummy Bear is this size and it's doing this. So yeah, it's pretty Anyways. cool. App. Am, I, am I allowed to tell them about like, you know, the... So here's a question. <laughs> have you enjoyed my pregnancy so far? Definitely certain aspects of it. Okay, guys. Certain things get bigger. <laughs> Those things don't fit into anything. She's like two cups bigger up there. Her ass is... So, you know. 
So you've enjoyed pregnancy so far. So far, there are, there are benefits that are good for me, not just to you. Oh. Glowing skin and okay. fancy hair and this, pregnancy glow. My hair is glowing because I have ex balm extensions. So I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to capitalize on the things I can get. Yeah. Which but. is. <laughs> You know. Okay, so you've enjoyed pregnancy far. Is there anything you haven't enjoyed about my pregnancy so far? The fucking hormones. The hormones? What's no, it's not. Okay, so it's not even the hormones. <laughs> oh, okay, so she knows what she's not supposed to eat. So she's been on like low carb for like a long time. And then all of a sudden the, the cravings hit. And then she wants all everything. But then she's like the bloat. Like the picture that you guys saw on Instagram and I'll put up here also. You will? Yeah, no, not what? The bloated picture? No, what bloated picture? No, uh, the announcement, the pregnancy oh, announcement. Okay. That was a month ago. Yeah. She's like in the morning, there were still same videos in the morning that we put IG See, story. I'm not really that bloated, like right now. Yeah, because you've now finally dialed it back in yeah. terms of the eating habits. But yeah. yeah, so that dealing with her emotional swings of not liking what her body's doing, but then being hungry, but then being sick, then throwing up, then not sleeping, then. Oh. Man, it's a lot to mm -hmm. take in that yeah, I was well, not growing, ready for. I'm growing you a human in here, so. You're just. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Do I you want to grow a human? Correct. Listen, <laughs> I gave you the deposit. You're the bank. Now generate my interest. You well, I am, but it comes at a cost. Yeah, apparently. So, yeah. They don't tell you a lot about this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll follow the next video up with more Q&A if you want any questions like this. So, guys, comment below the questions you think we should ask or what you want to ask us that we should answer. I hope Is your life so bad? <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm out. Guys, I hope you love this video. Um, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the like button, and comment below any questions you have or what you'd like to see next. All right? And we'll keep those updates coming for you. So thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.